Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Saturday the 27th, and today the weather was absolutely gorgeous out, got a little bit chilly in the evening but not too bad, ended up running up to Des Moines with a buddy of mine um, to get our race packets and that, kind of get that stuff out of the way to give us a little bit more time in the morning to make sure we know where we're going and kind of help organize a few things. Decided to go ahead and hang out, spend the night up here at his place tonight to kind of save myself the extra hour of driving from my house up to his. I was only like an hour and 45 minutes from my place to the race, but I wanted to hang out with him the, you know, before the race and I wanted to not have to pay double parking and stuff and also hang out with him and go out to eat afterwards and stuff. And this figure if I was driving an hour here and then driving an hour and 45 minutes from here up there, I would not make any damn sense. So just spend the night up here. Um, it's about 11.30. Getting ready to head to bed finally. Um, hopefully, we can get some sleep. We're getting up, I don't know, about 4 30, I think it is. We're getting up, we'll be up by 4 30 easily. And then basically hit the road, get up there, and hit my half marathon, which is really kind of up in my head right now. I'm a little bit worried about it. I've never ran this far in my life. Never ran this early either, which is going to be a real big thing for me. And I also never ran with a crowd. The biggest I ran with was about 100, a little over 100 people and there wasn't very many in my speed kind of thing so this is going to be much different and that was on trails so this is going to be a lot different up there there's going to be thousands of people running on the road and a few like trails and stuff or the park and whatever just a whole different world for me so definitely be interesting the farthest i've run before is no i mean this will be it this will be my longest run so i'm a little bit nervous a little bit up in my head but oh well all you can do is kind of just go out there and kick some ass and make sure i finish this thing that's the only thing that really matters to me got a goal I'm trying to shoot for is like 245 I should be able to easily do that um, my biggest goal is just finishing second next best goal is not having to walk in the blue oval which is the end of the race is one lap around the blue oval my goal is not to have to walk there a slow jog I'll put up with a fast jog I would love but walking is intolerable for me unless I have a massive injury going on and that's the only thing that's gonna stop me from finishing this race if I have some kind of massive injury going on and I'll be pissed off if it happens to me but We'll see in the morning how things feel. Uh, like I said, we'll have an hour and a half, two hour drive up there, find parking, get to the track, and then a good 45 minutes to an hour wait. So it's going to be a lot of that stress in my head and a lot of the worrying. My buddy's done a couple marathons out in D.C. before. I've done the weights with him, but I was just going to be taking pictures and worrying for him. Now I'm worrying for me and I got all the stress of me out there running. So definitely will be my experience for me. If I fail at my first real event, it's a little 5K, I don't really count that as an event. It's a sanctioned event. And, I bet it was such a short race, I don't know if I really count that as an event. So this will be my first real event tomorrow. So we'll see how it turns out, and we'll go from there. So anyway, that's all I've got for now. Thank you guys for watching. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day, and wish me luck.